All right, you know how Elden Ring has easy anti-cheat. If you play the game from Steam and you go through all these pop-ups, it gives you this window. This is actually Steam launching easy anti-cheat, which then in turn launches Elden Ring. Uh, and that is how the, the process works. But it turns out that those are both separate executables and you can actually just go directly to the Elden Ring executable. Now, to be clear, the easy anti-cheat being run first is required to play the game online. So I have my game set to start in offline mode. Oh, when my game starts, you will see I'll be able to log in online and play online because I started with easy anti-cheat. So if we go into here, we say, okay, I'll go to log in because we're in offline mode right now. It checks and it logs in and we're good to go. You do not have to use the easy energy. It's completely optional. If you go to the Elden Ring install location and go into game, you actually see these two EXEs. And this is the one that Steam launches. So what we do, this is the easy energy EXE. If we rename that one and actually just copy this one, the Elden Ring EXE, and call it Start Protected Game instead. Hello. Call it Start Protected Game EXE instead then Steam will launch it directly. And so if we go back over here, it thinks it's still running, which is fantastic. I love that about Steam. There we go. If we go back here and play now, you will see it doesn't give us that little window. It goes directly to the game. And now the game will start in offline mode, regardless of whether we have it set to or not. And we also will not be able to log in. But that's fine if you want to run things like mods, or if you want to change the aspect ratio, or if you want to unlock the frame rate. All of this is stuff we can still do. And this is pretty cool that FromSoft has let us do this. You know, they haven't baked the anti-cheat into it. That's probably something they did last minute, but it's really nice. Um, if I go ahead and try to log in, you see inappropriate activity detected, unable to start an online mode. No big deal. Starting an offline mode. You have the option to modify the game just like we've always done with every FromSoft game. None of that, as far as I know, should have changed significantly. The anti-cheat is just an added layer for people who want to play online and want the protection against the uh, you know, hackers and so forth. Because that has been a problem with the games, admittedly. So this sort of solution actually makes a lot of sense. Um, also makes sense that they're not publicizing it, but you can just do this. It also makes your game um, you know, load faster. And probably perform a little better. Easy to anti cheat is pretty lightweight. It's a, it's as far as any cheats go, not a bad one. I should mention. Um, there is another thing, and that is flawless widescreen has a patch for Elden Ring. So if you play on a widescreen ultra ultraoid monitor, um, you can. Just download Flawless Widescreen if you don't have it already. I haven't used this program in ages, but it just works. Um, download it, install it, go directly to Elden Ring, and you can turn that fix on. And then next time you launch the game, it will be able to do things. In fact, it might have already done it. Yeah. But I'm currently at 16x9, so I can't show you now. But it works. I have tested this. This works too. So that's actually how I found out about this. Credit to them for coming up with not only the fix, but also finding this out. It's fantastic. Um, whoever's putting this together, these people, Hayden. Thank you, Hayden. Anyway, that's all for today. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time.